your girl Ovoyajin and I am back with another video as promised. This is a cooking video. Today I'm going to be making tacos with mushrooms. I know it is not Taco Tuesday, but my spirit has been feeling it needs a little taco. Okay, so we're here today. By no means am I a chef, but I can whip some things together. So we're going to be making mushroom tacos. I'm going to show you guys all my ingredients. Let's get started. It should not take long at all. All right, let's go. Okay, guys, so here's our ingredients. We have our Ezekiel wraps. We have some tomatoes. We have some mixed spinach. Um, we have some broccoli. We have black beans. We have walnuts. We have green peppers. We have red onions, quinoa. So let's get started. Okay guys, first we are going to add some vegetable broth to a pot. We're going to add some minced garlic as well and we're gonna let that simmer for a few minutes. Then we're gonna add some extra virgin olive oil to a pan on about medium heat. Then we're gonna add our peppers and onions to the pan and allow that to simmer for a little bit. Then we're gonna add a little bit of pink Himalayan salt. Then we're gonna add our quinoa to our vegetable broth and we're gonna stir. We're going to then add our mushrooms to our peppers and onion mix and allow that to saute. Okay, now we're going to add our taco mix to our peppers and onions, and we're gonna mix that around a little bit, let that saute a little bit. Then we're gonna add our walnuts to the mix, and we're gonna mix it around. Now that that's been mixing for a little bit, we're gonna add our black beans and we're literally almost done. We're literally gonna let this warm up for a little bit and then we're gonna turn the eye off. Now we're gonna add a lid to our quinoa and let that simmer on medium heat. Then I'm going to turn on my back pan so we can start steaming up some broccoli. Then we're gonna add our broccoli to a hot skillet, allow it to sit just for about maybe two to three minutes on each side. Then we're gonna add a little bit of my lemon pepper mix to my broccoli just as a little bit of flavor. Then I add just a little bit of lemon, freshly squeezed, just to add a little zest, a little pop. Now we're simply just going to warm up our tortillas. This is the Ezekiel. I literally let it golden for about two, not even a minute, 30 by 30 seconds on each side and then I'll take it out and put a new one in.
have the finished product all done my mushroom taco but these things are delicious i ate one in its completion already let me just show you guys Ooh, it's a lot of reference on it but delicious it has some pico de gallo on there i put my quinoa as my rice substitute i put my taco filling in if you do not want to use the taco shells these are ezekiel shells um you can definitely use the filling and put it over a salad which is probably what i'll do with the rest of my leftovers i normally don't like to have too much bread and carbs but I was filling tacos. I haven't had them in a while, so I wanted to do them. This is completely different than another recipe that I make. I wanted to use my mushrooms this time. So it was mushrooms, black beans. You have your peppers. You have your onions. A little bit of walnuts. Delicious. Okay, I'm telling you guys. Mwah, mwah, mwah. But thank you so much for following me i hope you guys like this video if you want more like this please uh leave a comment and let me know and i'll try to share some like quick meals with you guys this is enough food for me to probably last me about two days simply because i'll mix it up and either like i said have a salad or have more of the taco wraps but thank you guys so much remember i'm dropping a video every friday so look out for my video next friday at 12 p.m Thank you guys so much for rocking with me. Have a good one. Bye.